Hey guys, today I will be showing you how to remove the front bumper from a 2015 Kia Optima SXL Turbo. So the first thing we'll do is remove the air intake snorkel. This is held on by these two 10 millimeter bolts. Just lift and pull this out of the way. Next, we will remove these eight clips. All of the ones that I currently have installed have Phillips heads on the tops. So what we can do is just unscrew them. We don't need to take them completely out. About that far is good. And then you can just pull up on them and they should pop out of place. You'll sometimes run into an issue where the center will spin in place, but it gets stuck coming up. So what I like to do is use a small flathead screwdriver and stick it under there and kind of pry up with it. And that should assist it to loosen. Once we have removed all eight of the clips, we can take out these two 10 millimeter bolts. Now this front plastic portion should be free and we can just lift it out of place and set it aside. Next we will move to the passenger wheel well where there are four more plastic clips. If you turn the wheel to the left, you can access it easier. The driver's side also has four clips that need to be removed.
this one appears to be damaged. In the instance you have a damaged clip, what I've found works best is if you take a flathead screwdriver and pry it out a bit. Then you can take some needle nose and twist it. It should loosen. There we go. And for under the front end, there are three clips on the driver's side. One here, two, three, and There are also three on the passenger side. One, which appears to be missing, two, and three. Next, we have two eight millimeter bolts that need to be removed. One on the passenger side, where the bumper meets the fender, tucked up here, right there. And then one on the driver's side in the same location where the bumper meets the fender right there once those bolts have been removed we should be able to pop the sides of the bumpers out Next, we have to push the bumper in and out of the way of these clips. So just push, push forward. And lift. Is that one? Now we should be able to finish popping each of these sides out. Good. Over here. I'm just reaching up in here to add some support to the inside by the headlight. There we go. And we're still grabbing on the inside under the headlight, so I'll have to pop this section out. All right, we were able to get the driver's side popped out of place, as well as the passenger side, and we have it resting on the floor. The only thing left that is holding it on are the fog light wires, which we can just push in and pull out, and then slide the bumper out of place. Driver's side one. Okay. 
push the top and slide it out. There we go. I hope this video was informative and helped you out. If you could, please leave a like and subscribe. Thank you.